Psalm 1. How blessed is the one who does not follow the advice of the wicked, the pathway with sinners, or sit in the assembly of scoffers. Instead, he finds pleasure in obeying the Lord's commands. He meditates on his commands day and night. He is like a tree planted by flowing streams. It yields its fruit at the proper time, and its leaves never fall off. He succeeds in everything he attempts. Not so with the wicked. Instead, they are like wind-driven chaff. For this reason the wicked cannot withstand judgment, nor can sinners join the assembly of the godly. Certainly, the Lord guards the way of the godly, but the way of the wicked ends in destruction. Psalm 2. Why do the nations rebel? Why are the countries devising plots that will fail? The kings of the earth form a united front. The rulers collaborate against the Lord and his anointed king. They say, let's tear off the shackles they've put on us. Let's free ourselves from their ropes. The one enthroned in heaven laughs in disgust. The Lord taunts them. Then he angrily speaks to them and terrifies them in his rage, saying, I myself have installed my king on Zion, my holy hill. The king says, I will announce the Lord's decree. He said to me, You are my son. This very day I have become your father. Ask me, and I will give you the nations as your inheritance, the ends of the earth as your personal property. You will break them with an iron scepter. You will smash them like a potter's jar. So now, you kings, do what is wise. You rulers of the earth, submit to correction. Serve the Lord in fear. Repent in terror. Give sincere homage. Otherwise he will be angry, and you will die because of your behavior when his anger quickly ignites. How blessed are all who take shelter in him. Psalm 3, a psalm of David written when he fled from his son Absalom. Lord, how numerous are my enemies. Many attack me. Many say about me, God will not deliver him. But you, Lord, are a shield that protects me. You are my glory and the one who restores me. To the Lord I cried out, and he answered me from his holy hill. I rested and slept. I awoke, for the Lord protects me. I am not afraid of the multitude of people who attack me from all directions. Rise up, Lord. Deliver me, my God. Yes, you will strike all my enemies on the jaw. You will break the teeth of the wicked. The Lord delivers. You show favor to your people. Psalm 4. For the music director to be accompanied by stringed instruments. A Psalm of David. When I call out, answer me, O God, who vindicates me. Though I am hemmed in, you will lead me into a wide, open place. Have mercy on me and respond to my prayer. You men, how long will you try to turn my honor into shame? How long will you love what is worthless and search for what is deceptive? Realize that the Lord shows the godly special favor. The Lord responds when I cry out to him. Tremble with fear and do not sin. Meditate as you lie in bed and repent of your ways. Offer the prescribed sacrifices and trust in the Lord. Many say, who can show us anything good? Smile upon us, Lord. You make me happier than those who have abundant grain and wine. I will lie down and sleep peacefully, for you, Lord, make me safe and secure. Psalm 5 
for the music director to be accompanied by wind instruments, a psalm of David. Listen to what I say, Lord. Carefully consider my complaint. Pay attention to my cry for help, my King and my God, for I am praying to you. Lord, in the morning you will hear me. In the morning I will present my case to you and then wait expectantly for an answer. Certainly you are not a God who approves of evil. Evil people cannot dwell with you. Arrogant people cannot stand in your presence. You hate all who behave wickedly. You destroy liars. The Lord despises violent and deceitful people. But as for me, because of your great faithfulness, I will enter your house. I will bow down toward your holy temple as I worship you. Lord, lead me in your righteousness. Because of those who wait to ambush me, remove the obstacles in the way in which you are guiding me. For they do not speak the truth. Their stomachs are like the place of destruction, their throats like an open grave, their tongues like a steep slope leading into it. Condemn them, O God. May their own schemes be their downfall. Drive them away because of their many acts of insurrection, for they have rebelled against you. But may all who take shelter in you be happy. May they continually shout for joy. Shelter them so that those who are loyal to you may rejoice. Certainly you reward the godly, Lord. Like a shield, you protect them in your good favor. Psalm 6 For the music director to be accompanied by stringed instruments, according to the Sheminith style, a psalm of David. Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not discipline me in your raging fury. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am frail. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are shaken. I am absolutely terrified, and you, Lord, how long will this continue? Relent, Lord, rescue me. Deliver me because of your faithfulness. For no one remembers you in the realm of death. In Sheol, who gives you thanks? I am exhausted as I groan. All night long I drench my bed in tears. My tears saturate the cushion beneath me. My eyes grow dim from suffering. They grow weak because of all my enemies. Turn back from me, all you who behave wickedly, for the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my appeal for mercy. The Lord has accepted my prayer. They will be humiliated and absolutely terrified. All my enemies will turn back and be suddenly humiliated. Psalm 7, a musical composition by David, which he sang to the Lord concerning a Benjaminite named Cush. O Lord, my God, in you I have taken shelter. Deliver me from all who chase me. Rescue me. Otherwise they will rip me to shreds like a lion. They will tear me to bits and no one will be able to rescue me. O Lord, my God, if I have done what they say, or am guilty of unjust actions, or have wronged my ally, or helped his lawless enemy, May an enemy relentlessly chase me and catch me. May he trample me to death and leave me lying dishonored in the dust. Stand up angrily, Lord. Rise up with raging fury against my enemies. Wake up for my sake and execute the judgment you have decreed for them. The countries are assembled all around you. Take once more your rightful place over them. The Lord judges the nations. Vindicate me, Lord, because I am innocent, because I am blameless, O exalted one. May the evil deeds of the wicked come to an end, but make the innocent secure.
O righteous God, you who examine inner thoughts and motives. The exalted God is my shield, the one who delivers the morally upright. God is a just judge. He is angry throughout the day. If a person does not repent, God will wield his sword. He has prepared to shoot his bow. He has prepared deadly weapons to use against him. He gets ready to shoot flaming arrows. See the one who is pregnant with wickedness, who conceives destructive plans, and gives birth to harmful lies. He digs a pit, and then falls into the hole he has made. He becomes the victim of his own destructive plans, and the violence he intended for others falls on his own head. I will thank the Lord for his justice. I will sing praises to the Lord Most High. Psalm 8 For the music director, according to the Giddith style, a psalm of David. O Lord, our Lord, how magnificent is your reputation throughout the earth. You reveal your majesty in the heavens above. From the mouths of children and nursing babies, you have ordained praise on account of your adversaries, so that you might put an end to the vindictive enemy. When I look up at the heavens, which your fingers made, and see the moon and the stars, which you set in place, of what importance is the human race, that you should notice them? Of what importance is mankind, that you should pay attention to them? You made them a little less than the heavenly beings. You crowned mankind with honor and majesty. You appoint them to rule over your creation. You have placed everything under their authority, including all the sheep and cattle, as well as the wild animals, the birds in the sky, the fish in the sea, and everything that moves through the currents of the seas. O oh Lord, our Lord, how magnificent is your reputation throughout the earth. Psalm 9 For the music director, according to the Olamath Laban style, a psalm of David. I will thank the Lord with all my heart. I will tell about all your amazing deeds. I will be happy and rejoice in you. I will sing praises to you, O Most High. When my enemies turn back, they trip and are defeated before you. For you defended my just cause. From your throne you pronounced a just decision. You terrified the nations with your battle cry. You destroyed the wicked. You permanently wiped out all memory of them. The enemy's cities have been reduced to permanent ruins. You destroyed their cities. All memory of the enemies has perished. But the Lord rules forever. He reigns in a just manner. He judges the world fairly. He makes just legal decisions for the nations. Consequently, the Lord provides safety for the oppressed. He provides safety in times of trouble. Your loyal followers trust in you. For you, Lord, do not abandon those who seek your help. Sing praises to the Lord, who rules in Zion. Tell the nations what he has done. For the one who takes revenge against murderers took notice of the oppressed. He did not overlook their cry for help. When they prayed, have mercy on me, Lord. See how I am oppressed by those who hate me. O one who can snatch me away from the gates of death. Then I will tell about all your praiseworthy acts. In the gates of daughter Zion I will rejoice because of your deliverance. The nations fell into the pit they had made. Their feet were caught in the net they had hidden. The Lord revealed himself. He accomplished justice. The wicked were ensnared by their own actions. The wicked are turned back and sent to Sheol. This is the destiny of all the nations that ignore God. For the needy are not permanently ignored. 
The hopes of the oppressed are not forever dashed. Rise up, Lord. Don't let men be defiant. May the nations be judged in your presence. Terrify them, Lord. Let the nations know they are mere mortals. Psalm 10 Why, Lord, do you stand far off? Why do you pay no attention during times of trouble? The wicked arrogantly chase the oppressed. The oppressed are trapped by the schemes the wicked have dreamed up. Yes, the wicked man boasts because he gets what he wants. The one who robs others curses and rejects the Lord. The wicked man is so arrogant he always thinks, God won't hold me accountable, he doesn't care. He is secure at all times. He has no regard for your commands. He disdains all his enemies. He says to himself, I will never be shaken, because I experience no calamity. His mouth is full of curses and deceptive, harmful words. His tongue injures and destroys. He waits in ambush near the villages. In hidden places he kills the innocent. His eyes look for some unfortunate victim. He lies in ambush in a hidden place, like a lion in a thicket. He lies in ambush, waiting to catch the oppressed. He catches the oppressed by pulling in his neck. His victims are crushed and beaten down. They are trapped in his sturdy nets. He says to himself, God overlooks it. He does not pay attention. He never notices. Rise up, Lord. O oh God, strike him down. Do not forget the oppressed. Why does the wicked man reject God? He says to himself, You will not hold me accountable. You have taken notice, for you always see one who inflicts pain and suffering. The unfortunate victim entrusts his cause to you. You deliver the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked and evil man. Hold him accountable for his wicked deeds which he thought you would not discover. The Lord rules forever. The nations are driven out of his land. Lord, you have heard the request of the oppressed. You make them feel secure because you listen to their prayer. You defend the fatherless and oppressed, so that mere mortals may no longer terrorize them. For the Music Director by David In the Lord I have taken shelter. How can you say to me, Flee to a mountain like a bird? For look, the wicked prepare their bows, they put their arrows on the strings, to shoot in the darkness at the morally upright. When the foundations are destroyed, what can the godly accomplish? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes watch. His eyes examine all people. The Lord approves of the godly, but he hates the wicked and those who love to do violence. May he rain down burning coals and brimstone on the wicked. A whirlwind is what they deserve. Certainly, the Lord is just. He rewards godly deeds. The upright will experience his favor. Psalm 12 For the music director, according to the Sheminith style, a psalm of David. Deliver, Lord. For the godly have disappeared. People of integrity have vanished. People lie to one another. They flatter and deceive. May the Lord cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that boasts. They say, we speak persuasively. We know how to flatter and boast. Who is our master? 
Because of the violence done to the oppressed, because of the painful cries of the needy, I will spring into action, says the Lord. I will provide the safety they so desperately desire. The Lord's words are absolutely reliable. They are as untainted as silver purified in a furnace on the ground, where it is thoroughly refined. You, Lord, will protect them. You will continually shelter each one from these evil people, for the wicked seem to be everywhere when people promote evil. Psalm 13 For the music director, a psalm of David. How long, Lord, will you continue to ignore me? How long will you pay no attention to me? How long must I worry and suffer in broad daylight? How long will my enemy gloat over me? Look at me. Answer me, O Lord my God. Revive me, or else I will die. Then my enemy will say, I have defeated him. Then my foes will rejoice because I am shaken. But I trust in your faithfulness. May I rejoice because of your deliverance. I will sing praises to the Lord when he vindicates me. Psalm 14 For the music director by David Fools say to themselves, There is no God. They sin and commit evil deeds. None of them does what is right. The Lord looks down from heaven at the human race to see if there is anyone who is wise and seeks God. Everyone rejects God. They are all morally corrupt. None of them does what is right, not even one. All those who behave wickedly do not understand. Those who devour my people as if they were eating bread and do not call out to the Lord. They are absolutely terrified, for God defends the godly. You want to humiliate the oppressed, even though the Lord is their shelter. I wish the deliverance of Israel would come from Zion. When the Lord restores the well-being of his people, may Jacob rejoice, may Israel be happy. Psalm 15, a Psalm of David. Lord, who may be a guest in your home? Who may live on your holy hill? Whoever lives a blameless life, does what is right, and speaks honestly. He does not slander or do harm to others or insult his neighbor. He despises a reprobate, but honors the Lord's loyal followers. He makes firm commitments and does not renege on his promise. He does not charge interest when he lends his money. He does not take bribes to testify against the innocent. The one who lives like this will never be shaken. Psalm 16 a prayer of David. Protect me, O God, for I have taken shelter in you. I say to the Lord, You are the Lord, my only source of well-being. As for God's chosen people who are in the land, and the leading officials I admired so much, their troubles multiply, they desire other gods. I will not pour out drink offerings of blood to their gods, nor will I make vows in the name of their gods. Lord, you give me stability and prosperity. You make my future secure. It is as if I have been given fertile fields or received a beautiful tract of land. I will praise the Lord who guides me. Yes, during the night I reflect and learn. I constantly trust in the Lord. Because he is at my right hand, I will not be shaken. So my heart rejoices, and I am happy. My life is safe. You will not abandon me to Sheol. You will not allow your faithful follower to see the pit. You lead me in the path of life. I experience absolute joy in your presence. You always give me sheer delight. 
Psalm 17, A Prayer of David Lord, consider my just cause. Pay attention to my cry for help. Listen to the prayer I sincerely offer. Make a just decision on my behalf. Decide what is right. You have scrutinized my inner motives. You have examined me during the night. You have carefully evaluated me, but you find no sin. I am determined I will say nothing sinful. As for the actions of people, just as you have commanded, I have not followed in the footsteps of violent men. I carefully obey your commands. I do not deviate from them. I call to you because you will answer me, O God. Listen to me. Hear what I say. Accomplish awesome, faithful deeds. You who powerfully deliver those who look to you for protection from their enemies. Protect me as you would protect the pupil of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Protect me from the wicked men who attack me, my enemies who crowd around me for the kill. They are calloused. They speak arrogantly. They attack me, now they surround me. They intend to throw me to the ground. He is like a lion that wants to tear its prey to bits, like a young lion crouching in hidden places. Rise up, Lord. Confront him. Knock him down. Use your sword to rescue me from the wicked man. Lord, use your power to deliver me from these murderers, from the murderers of this world. They enjoy prosperity. You overwhelm them with the riches they desire. They have many children and leave their wealth to their offspring. As for me, because I am innocent, the first will see your face. When I awake, you will reveal yourself to me. Psalm 18 For the music director by the Lord's servant David, who sang to the Lord the words of this song when the Lord rescued him from the power of all his enemies, including Saul. He said, I love you, Lord, my source of strength. The Lord is my high ridge, my stronghold, my deliverer. My God is my rocky summit where I take shelter, my shield, the horn that saves me, and my refuge. I called to the Lord, who is worthy of praise, and I was delivered from my enemies. The waves of death engulfed me, the currents of chaos overwhelmed me. The ropes of Sheol tightened around me. The snares of death trapped me. In my distress, I called to the Lord. I cried out to my God. From his heavenly temple, he heard my voice. He listened to my cry for help. The earth heaved and shook. The roots of the mountains trembled. They heaved because he was angry. Smoke ascended from his nose. Fire devoured as it came from his mouth. He hurled down fiery coals. He made the sky sink as he descended. A thick cloud was under his feet. He mounted a winged angel and flew. He glided on the wings of the wind. He shrouded himself in darkness, in thick rain clouds. From the brightness in front of him came hail and fiery coals. The Lord thundered in the sky. The Most High shouted. He shot his arrows and scattered them, many lightning bolts, and routed them. The depths of the sea were exposed. The inner regions of the world were uncovered. By your battle cry, Lord, by the powerful breath from your nose, he reached down from above and took hold of me. He pulled me from the surging water. He rescued me from my strong enemy, from those who hate me, for they were too strong for me. They confronted me in my day of calamity, but the Lord helped me. 
He brought me out into a wide open place. He delivered me because he was pleased with me. The Lord repaid me for my godly deeds. He rewarded my blameless behavior. For I have obeyed the Lord's commands. I have not rebelled against my God. For I am aware of all his regulations, and I do not reject his rules. I was innocent before him and kept myself from sinning. The Lord rewarded me for my godly deeds. He took notice of my blameless behavior. You prove to be loyal to one who is faithful. You prove to be trustworthy to one who is innocent. You prove to be reliable to one who is blameless, but you prove to be deceptive to one who is perverse. For you deliver oppressed people, but you bring down those who have a proud look. Indeed, you light my lamp, Lord. My God illuminates the darkness around me. Indeed, with your help I can charge against an army. By my God's power I can jump over a wall. The one true God acts in a faithful manner. The Lord's promise is reliable. He is a shield to all who take shelter in Him. Indeed, who is God besides the Lord? Who is a protector besides our God? The one true God gives me strength. He removes the obstacles in my way. He gives me the agility of a deer. He enables me to negotiate the rugged terrain. He trains my hands for battle. My arms can bend even the strongest bow. You give me your protective shield. Your right hand supports me. Your willingness to help enables me to prevail. You widen my path. My feet do not slip. I chase my enemies and catch them. I do not turn back until I wipe them out. I beat them to death. They fall at my feet. You give me strength for battle. You make my foes kneel before me. You make my enemies retreat. I destroy those who hate me. They cry out, but there is no one to help them. They cry out to the Lord, but He does not answer them. I grind them as fine wind-blown dust. I beat them underfoot like clay in the streets. You rescue me from a hostile army. You make me a leader of nations. People over whom I had no authority are now my subjects. When they hear of my exploits, they submit to me. Foreigners are powerless before me. Foreigners lose their courage. They shake with fear as they leave their strongholds. The Lord is alive. My protector is praiseworthy. The God who delivers me is exalted as king. The one true God completely vindicates me. He makes nations submit to me. He delivers me from my enemies. You snatch me away from those who attack me. You rescue me from violent men. So I will give you thanks before the nations, O Lord. I will sing praises to you. He gives his king magnificent victories. He is faithful to his chosen ruler, to David and his descendants forever. Psalm 19 For the music director, a psalm of David. The heavens declare the glory of God. The sky displays his handiwork. Day after day it speaks out. Night after night it reveals his greatness. There is no actual speech or word, nor is its voice literally heard. Yet its voice echoes throughout the earth. Its words carry to the distant horizon. In the sky he has pitched a tent for the sun. Like a bridegroom it emerges from its chamber. Like a strong man it enjoys running its course. It emerges from the distant horizon and goes from one end of the sky to the other. Nothing can escape its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, 
and preserves one's life. The rules set down by the Lord are reliable and impart wisdom to the inexperienced. The Lord's precepts are fair and make one joyful. The Lord's commands are pure and give insight for life. The commands to fear the Lord are right and endure forever. The judgments given by the Lord are trustworthy and absolutely just. They are of greater value than gold, than even a great amount of pure gold. They bring greater delight than honey, than even the sweetest honey from a honeycomb. Yes, your servant finds moral guidance there. Those who obey them receive a rich reward. Who can know all his errors? Please do not punish me for sins I am unaware of. Moreover, keep me from committing flagrant sins. Do not allow such sins to control me. Then I will be blameless and innocent of blatant rebellion. May my words and my thoughts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my sheltering rock and my redeemer. Psalm 20 for the music director, a psalm of David. May the Lord answer you when you are in trouble. May the God of Jacob make you secure. May he send you help from his temple. From Zion, may he give you support. May he take notice of all your offerings. May he accept your burnt sacrifice. May he grant your heart's desire. May he bring all your plans to pass. Then we will shout for joy over your victory. We will rejoice in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your requests. Now I am sure that the Lord will deliver his chosen king. He will intervene for him from his holy, heavenly temple and display his mighty ability to deliver. Some trust in chariots and others in horses, but we depend on the Lord our God. They will fall down, but we will stand firm. The Lord will deliver the King. He will answer us when we call to Him for help. Psalm 21 For the music director, a psalm of David. O Lord, the King rejoices in the strength you give. He takes great delight in the deliverance you provide. You grant him his heart's desire. You do not refuse his request, for you bring him rich blessings. You place a golden crown on his head. He asked you to sustain his life, and you have granted him long life and an enduring dynasty. Your deliverance brings him great honor. You give him majestic splendor. For you grant him lasting blessings. You give him great joy by allowing him into your presence. For the king trusts in the Lord, and because of the Most High's faithfulness he is not shaken. You prevail over all your enemies. Your power is too great for those who hate you. You burn them up like a fiery furnace when you appear. The Lord angrily devours them. The fire consumes them. You destroy their offspring from the earth, their descendants from among the human race. Yes, they intend to do you harm. They dream up a scheme, but they do not succeed. For you make them retreat when you aim your arrows at them. Rise up, O Lord, in strength. We will sing and praise your power. Psalm 22 for the music director, according to the tune, Morning Doe, a psalm of David. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? I groan in prayer, but help seems far away. My God, I cry out during the day, but you do not answer. And during the night my prayers do not let up. You are holy. You sit as king receiving the praises of Israel. In you our ancestors trusted. They trusted in you and you rescued them. 
To you they cried out, and they were saved. In you they trusted, and they were not disappointed. But I am a worm, not a man. People insult me and despise me. All who see me taunt me. They mock me and shake their heads. They say, Commit yourself to the Lord. Let the Lord rescue him. Let the Lord deliver him, for he delights in him. Yes, you are the one who brought me out from the womb and made me feel secure on my mother's breasts. I have been dependent on you since birth. From the time I came out of my mother's womb, you have been my God. Do not remain far away from me, for trouble is near and I have no one to help me. Many bulls surround me. Powerful bulls of Bashan hem me in. They open their mouths to devour me, like a roaring lion that rips its prey. My strength drains away like water. All my bones are dislocated. My heart is like wax. It melts away inside me. The roof of my mouth is as dry as a piece of pottery. My tongue sticks to my gums. You set me in the dust of death. Yes, wild dogs surround me. A gang of evil men crowd around me. Like a lion, they pin my hands and feet. I can count all my bones. My enemies are gloating over me in triumph. They are dividing up my clothes among themselves. They are rolling dice for my garments. But you, O oh Lord, do not remain far away. You are my source of strength. Hurry and help me. Deliver me from the sword. Save my life from the claws of the wild dogs. Rescue me from the mouth of the lion and from the horns of the wild oxen. You have answered me. I will declare your name to my countrymen. In the middle of the assembly, I will praise you. You loyal followers of the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, honor him. All you descendants of Israel, stand in awe of him. For he did not despise or detest the suffering of the oppressed. He did not ignore him. When he cried out to him, he responded, You are the reason I offer praise in the great assembly. I will fulfill my promises before the Lord's loyal followers. Let the oppressed eat and be filled. Let those who seek his help praise the Lord. May you live forever. Let all the people of the earth acknowledge the Lord and turn to him. Let all the nations worship you. For the Lord is king and rules over the nations. All the thriving people of the earth will join the celebration and worship. All those who are descending into the grave will bow before him, including those who cannot preserve their lives. A whole generation will serve him. They will tell the next generation about the Lord. They will come and tell about his saving deeds. They will tell a future generation what he has accomplished. Psalm 23, a Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He takes me to lush pastures, he leads me to refreshing water. He restores my strength. He leads me down the right paths for the sake of his reputation. Even when I must walk through the darkest valley, I fear no danger, for you are with me, your rod and your staff reassure me. You prepare a feast before me in plain sight of my enemies. You refresh my head with oil, my cup is completely full. Surely your goodness and faithfulness will pursue me all my days, and I will live in the Lord's house for the rest of my life. Psalm 24 a Psalm of David The Lord owns the earth and all it contains, the world and all who live in it. For he set its foundation upon the seas and established it upon the ocean currents. Who is allowed to ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may go up to his holy dwelling place? The one whose deeds are blameless and whose motives are pure who does not lie, or make promises with no intention of keeping them. 
Such godly people are rewarded by the Lord and vindicated by the God who delivers them. Such purity characterizes the people who seek his favor, Jacob's descendants, who pray to him. Look up, you gates. Rise up, you eternal doors. Then the majestic king will enter. Who is this majestic king? The Lord who is strong and mighty. The Lord who is mighty in battle. Look up, you gates. Rise up, you eternal doors. Then the majestic king will enter. Who is this majestic king? The Lord of heaven's armies. He is the majestic king. Psalm 25 by David O Lord, I come before you in prayer. My God, I trust in you. Please do not let me be humiliated. Do not let my enemies triumphantly rejoice over me. Certainly none who rely on you will be humiliated. Those who deal in treachery will be thwarted and humiliated. Make me understand your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me into your truth and teach me. For you are the God who delivers me. On you I rely all day long. Remember your compassionate and faithful deeds, O Lord, for you have always acted in this manner. Do not hold against me the sins of my youth or my rebellious acts. Because you are faithful to me, extend to me your favor, O Lord. The Lord is both kind and fair. That is why he teaches sinners the right way to live. May he show the humble what is right. May he teach the humble his way. The Lord always proves faithful and reliable to those who follow the demands of his covenant. For the sake of your reputation, O Lord, forgive my sin, because it is great. The Lord shows his faithful followers the way they should live. They experience his favor. Their descendants inherit the land. The Lord's loyal followers receive his guidance, and he reveals his covenantal demands to them. I continually look to the Lord for help for he will free my feet from the enemy's net. Turn toward me and have mercy on me, for I am alone and oppressed. Deliver me from my distress. Rescue me from my suffering. See my pain and suffering. Forgive all my sins. Watch my enemies, for they outnumber me. They hate me and want to harm me. Protect me and deliver me. Please do not let me be humiliated, for I have taken shelter in you. May integrity and godliness protect me, for I rely on you. O God, rescue Israel from all their distress. Psalm 26 by David Vindicate me, O Lord, for I have integrity and I trust in the Lord without wavering. Examine me, O Lord, and test me. Evaluate my inner thoughts and motives. For I am ever aware of your faithfulness, and your loyalty continually motivates me. I do not associate with deceitful men, or consort with those who are dishonest. I hate the mob of evil men, and do not associate with the wicked. I maintain a pure lifestyle, so I can appear before your altar, O Lord, to give you thanks, and to tell about all your amazing deeds. O Lord, I love the temple where you live, the place where your splendor is revealed. Do not sweep me away with sinners, or execute me along with violent people, who are always ready to do wrong or offer a bribe. But I have integrity. Rescue me and have mercy on me. I am safe 
and among the worshippers I will praise the Lord. Psalm 27 by David The Lord is my light and my salvation. I fear no one. The Lord protects my life. I am afraid of no one. When evil men attack me to devour my flesh, when my adversaries and enemies attack me, they stumble and fall. Even when an army is deployed against me, I do not fear. Even when war is imminent, I remain confident. I have asked the Lord for one thing. This is what I desire. I want to live in the Lord's house all the days of my life, so I can gaze at the splendor of the Lord and contemplate in His temple. He will surely give me shelter in the day of danger. He will hide me in His home. He will place me on an inaccessible rocky summit. Now I will triumph over my enemies who surround me. I will offer sacrifices in His dwelling place and shout for joy. I will sing praises to the Lord. Hear me, O Lord, when I cry out. Have mercy on me and answer me. My heart tells me to pray to you, and I do pray to you, O Lord. Do not reject me. Do not push your servant away in anger. You are my deliverer. Do not forsake or abandon me, O God, who vindicates me. Even if my father and mother abandoned me, the Lord would take me in. Teach me how you want me to live, Lord. Lead me along a level path because of those who wait to ambush me. Do not turn me over to my enemies, for false witnesses who want to destroy me testify against me. Where would I be if I did not believe I would experience the Lord's favor in the land of the living? Rely on the Lord. Be strong and confident. Rely on the Lord. Psalm 28 by David To you, O Lord, I cry out. My protector, do not ignore me. If you do not respond to me, I will join those who are descending into the grave. Hear my plea for mercy when I cry out to you for help, when I lift my hands toward your holy temple. Do not drag me away with evil men, with those who behave wickedly, who talk so friendly to their neighbors, while they plan to harm them. Pay them back for their evil deeds. Pay them back for what they do. Punish them. For they do not understand the Lord's actions or the way He carries out justice. The Lord will permanently demolish them. The Lord deserves praise, for He has heard my plea for mercy. The Lord strengthens and protects me I trust in Him with all my heart. I am rescued and my heart is full of joy. I will sing to Him in gratitude. The Lord strengthens His people. He protects and delivers His chosen King. Deliver your people. Empower the nation that belongs to you. Care for them like a shepherd and carry them in your arms at all times. Psalm 29, a Psalm of David. Acknowledge the Lord, you heavenly beings. Acknowledge the Lord's majesty and power. Acknowledge the majesty of the Lord's reputation. Worship the Lord in holy attire. The Lord's shout is heard over the water. The majestic God thunders. The Lord appears over the surging water. The Lord's shout is powerful. The Lord's shout is majestic. The Lord's shout breaks the cedars. The Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes them skip like a calf, Lebanon and Sarion like a young ox. The Lord's shout strikes with flaming fire. The Lord's shout shakes the wilderness. 
The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The Lord shout bends the large trees and strips the leaves from the forests. Everyone in his temple says, Majestic! The Lord sits enthroned over the engulfing waters. The Lord sits enthroned as the eternal King. The Lord gives his people strength. The Lord grants his people security. Psalm 30, a psalm, a song used at the dedication of the temple by David. I will praise you, O Lord, for you lifted me up and did not allow my enemies to gloat over me. O Lord my God, I cried out to you and you healed me. O Lord, you pulled me up from Sheol. You rescued me from among those descending into the grave. Sing to the Lord, you faithful followers of His. Give thanks to His holy name. For His anger lasts only a brief moment, and His good favor restores one's life. One may experience sorrow during the night, but joy arrives in the morning. In my self-confidence I said, I will never be shaken. O oh Lord, in your good favor you made me secure. Then you rejected me, and I was terrified. To you, O oh Lord, I cried out. I begged the Lord for mercy. What profit is there in taking my life, in my descending into the pit? Can the dust of the grave praise you? Can it declare your loyalty? Hear, O oh Lord, and have mercy on me. O oh Lord, deliver me. Then you turned my lament into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and covered me with joy. So now my heart will sing to you and not be silent. O oh Lord my God, I will always give thanks to you. For the music director, a psalm of David. In you, O Lord, I have taken shelter. Never let me be humiliated. Vindicate me by rescuing me. Listen to me. Quickly deliver me. Be my protector and refuge, a stronghold where I can be safe. For you are my high ridge and my stronghold. For the sake of your own reputation you lead me and guide me. You will free me from the net they hid for me, for you are my place of refuge. Into your hand I entrust my life. You will rescue me, O Lord, the faithful God. I hate those who serve worthless idols, but I trust in the Lord. I will be happy and rejoice in your faithfulness. Because you notice my pain, and you are aware of how distressed I am. You do not deliver me over to the power of the enemy. You enable me to stand in a wide open place. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am in distress. My eyes grow dim from suffering. I have lost my strength. For my life nears its end in pain. My ears draw to a close as I groan. My strength fails me because of my sin, and my bones become brittle. Because of all my enemies, people disdain me. My neighbors are appalled by my suffering. Those who know me are horrified by my condition. Those who see me in the street run away from me. I am forgotten, like a dead man no one thinks about. I am regarded as worthless, like a broken jar. For I hear what so many are saying, the terrifying news that comes from every direction. When they plot together against me, they figure out how they can take my life. But I trust in you, O Lord. I declare, you are my God. You determine my destiny. Rescue me from the power of my enemies and those who chase me. Smile on your servant. 
deliver me because of your faithfulness. O Lord, do not let me be humiliated, for I call out to you. May evil men be humiliated. May they go wailing to the grave. May lying lips be silenced, lips that speak defiantly against the innocent, with arrogance and contempt. How great is your favor, which you store up for your loyal followers. In plain sight of everyone you bestow it on those who take shelter in you. You hide them with you, where they are safe from the attacks of men. You conceal them in a shelter, where they are safe from slanderous attacks. The Lord deserves praise, for He demonstrated His amazing faithfulness to me when I was besieged by enemies. I jumped to conclusions and said, I am cut off from your presence. But you heard my plea for mercy when I cried out to you for help. Love the Lord, all you faithful followers of His. The Lord protects those who have integrity, but He pays back in full the one who acts arrogantly. Be strong and confident, all you who wait on the Lord. Psalm 32 by David, a well-written song. How blessed is the one whose rebellious acts are forgiven, whose sin is pardoned. How blessed is the one whose wrongdoing the Lord does not punish, in whose spirit there is no deceit. When I refused to confess my sin, my whole body wasted away, while I groaned in pain all day long. For day and night you tormented me, you tried to destroy me in the intense heat of summer. Then I confessed my sin, I no longer covered up my wrongdoing. I said, I will confess my rebellious acts to the Lord. And then you forgave my sins. For this reason every one of your faithful followers should pray to you, while there is a window of opportunity. Certainly, when the surging water rises, it will not reach them. You are my hiding place. You protect me from distress. You surround me with shouts of joy from those celebrating deliverance. I will instruct and teach you about how you should live. I will advise you as I look you in the eye. Do not be like an unintelligent horse or mule which will not obey you, unless they are controlled by a bridle and bit. An evil person suffers much pain, but the Lord's faithfulness overwhelms the one who trusts in Him. Rejoice in the Lord, and be happy, you who are godly. Shout for joy, all you who are morally upright. Psalm 33 You godly ones, shout for joy because of the Lord. It is appropriate for the morally upright to offer him praise. Give thanks to the Lord with the harp. Sing to him to the accompaniment of a ten-stringed instrument. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully as you shout out your praises to him. For the Lord's decrees are just, and everything he does is fair. He promotes equity and justice. The Lord's faithfulness extends throughout the earth. By the Lord's decree the heavens were made, and by the breath of His mouth all the starry hosts. He piles up the water of the sea. He puts the oceans in storehouses. Let the whole earth fear the Lord. Let all who live in the world stand in awe of Him. For He spoke, and it came into existence. He issued the decree, and it stood firm. The Lord frustrates the decisions of the nations. He nullifies the plans of the peoples. The Lord's decisions stand forever. His plans abide throughout the ages. How blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people whom He has chosen to be His special possession. The Lord watches from heaven. He sees all people. From the place where he lives he looks carefully 
and all the Earth's inhabitants. He is the one who forms every human heart and takes note of all their actions. No king is delivered by his vast army. A warrior is not saved by his great might. A horse disappoints those who trust in it for victory. Despite its great strength, it cannot deliver. Look, the Lord takes notice of his loyal followers, those who wait for him to demonstrate his faithfulness by saving their lives from death and sustaining them during times of famine. We wait for the Lord. He is our deliverer and shield. For our hearts rejoice in him, for we trust in his holy name. May we experience your faithfulness, O Lord, for we wait for you. Psalm 34 By David, when he pretended to be insane before Abimelech, causing the king to send him away. I will praise the Lord at all times. My mouth will continually praise him. I will boast in the Lord. Let the oppressed hear and rejoice. Magnify the Lord with me. Let us praise his name together. I sought the Lord's help and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Look to him and be radiant. Do not let your faces be ashamed. This oppressed man cried out and the Lord heard. He saved him from all his troubles. The angel of the Lord camps around the Lord's loyal followers and delivers them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. How blessed is the one who takes shelter in him. Fear the Lord, you chosen people of his, for those who fear him lack nothing. Even young lions sometimes lack food and are hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, children, listen to me. I will teach you what it means to fear the Lord. Do you want to really live? Would you love to live a long, happy life? Then make sure you don't speak evil words or use deceptive speech. Turn away from evil and do what is right. Strive for peace and promote it. The Lord pays attention to the godly and hears their cry for help. But the Lord opposes evildoers and wipes out all memory of them from the earth. The godly cry out and the Lord hears. He saves them from all their troubles. The Lord is near the brokenhearted. He delivers those who are discouraged. The godly face many dangers, but the Lord saves them from each one of them. He protects all his bones. Not one of them is broken. Evil people self-destruct. Those who hate the godly are punished. The Lord rescues his servants. All who take shelter in him escape punishment. Psalm 35 by David O Lord, fight those who fight with me. Attack those who attack me. Grab your small shield and large shield and rise up to help me. Use your spear and lance against those who chase me. Assure me with these words, I am your deliverer. May those who seek my life be embarrassed and humiliated. May those who plan to harm me be turned back and ashamed. May they be like wind-driven chaff as the angel of the Lord attacks them. May their path be dark and slippery as the angel of the Lord chases them. I did not harm them, but they hid a net to catch me and dug a pit to trap me. Let destruction take them by surprise. Let the net they hid catch them. Let them fall into destruction. Then I will rejoice in the Lord and be happy because of his deliverance. With all my strength, I will say, O Lord, who can compare to you? You rescue the oppressed from those who try to overpower them. 
the oppressed and needy from those who try to rob them. Violent men perjure themselves and falsely accuse me. They repay me evil for the good I have done. I am overwhelmed with sorrow. When they were sick, I wore sackcloth and refrained from eating food. If I am lying, may my prayers go unanswered. I mourn for them as I would for a friend or my brother. I bowed down in sorrow as if I were mourning for my mother. But when I stumbled, they rejoiced and gathered together. They gathered together to ambush me. They tore at me without stopping to rest. When I tripped, they taunted me relentlessly and tried to bite me. O oh Lord, how long are you going to watch this? Rescue me from their destructive attacks. Guard my life from the young lions. Then I will give you thanks in the great assembly. I will praise you before a large crowd of people. Do not let those who are my enemies for no reason gloat over me. Do not let those who hate me without cause carry out their wicked schemes. For they do not try to make peace with others, but plan ways to deceive those who live peacefully in the land. They are ready to devour me. They say, Aha! Aha! We've got you. But you take notice, Lord, do not be silent. O oh Lord, do not remain far away from me. Rouse yourself, wake up, and vindicate me. My God and Lord, defend my just cause. Vindicate me by your justice, O oh Lord my God. Do not let them gloat over me. Do not let them say to themselves, Aha! We have what we wanted. Do not let them say, we have devoured him. May those who rejoice in my troubles be totally embarrassed and ashamed. May those who arrogantly taunt me be covered with shame and humiliation. May those who desire my vindication shout for joy and rejoice. May they continually say, May the Lord be praised, for he wants his servant to be secure. Then I will tell others about your justice and praise you all day long. Psalm 36 For the music director, an oracle, written by the Lord's servant David. An evil man is rebellious to the core. He does not fear God, for he is too proud to recognize and give up his sin. The words he speaks are sinful and deceitful, he does not care about doing what is wise and right. While he lies in bed, he plans ways to sin. He is committed to a sinful lifestyle. He does not reject what is evil. O oh Lord, your loyal love reaches to the sky, your faithfulness to the clouds. Your justice is like the highest mountains, your fairness like the deepest sea. You, Lord, Preserve mankind and the animal kingdom. How precious is your loyal love, O oh God! The human race finds shelter under your wings. They are filled with food from your house, and you allow them to drink from the river of your delicacies. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. Extend your loyal love to your faithful followers and vindicate the morally upright. Do not let arrogant men overtake me, or let evil men make me homeless. I can see the evildoers. They have fallen. They have been knocked down and are unable to get up. Psalm 37 by David Do not fret when wicked men seem to succeed. Do not envy evildoers, for they will quickly dry up like grass and wither away like plants. Trust in the Lord and do what is right. Settle in the land and maintain your integrity. Then you will take delight in the Lord 
and He will answer your prayers. Commit your future to the Lord. Trust in Him, and He will act on your behalf. He will vindicate you in broad daylight and publicly defend your just cause. Wait patiently for the Lord. Wait confidently for Him. Do not fret over the apparent success of a sinner, a man who carries out wicked schemes. Do not be angry and frustrated. Do not fret. That only leads to trouble. Wicked men will be wiped out, but those who rely on the Lord are the ones who will possess the land. Evil men will soon disappear. You will stare at the spot where they once were, but they will be gone. But the oppressed will possess the land and enjoy great prosperity. Evil men plot against the godly and viciously attack them. The Lord laughs in disgust at them, for he knows that their day is coming. Evil men draw their swords and prepare their bows to bring down the oppressed and needy and to slaughter those who are godly. Their swords will pierce their own hearts and their bows will be broken. The little bit that a godly man owns is better than the wealth of many evil men, for evil men will lose their power but the Lord sustains the godly. The Lord watches over the innocent day by day, and they possess a permanent inheritance. They will not be ashamed when hard times come. When famine comes, they will have enough to eat. But evil men will die. The Lord's enemies will be incinerated. They will go up in smoke. Evil men borrow, but do not repay their debt but the godly show compassion and are generous. Surely those favored by the Lord will possess the land, but those rejected by Him will be wiped out. The Lord grants success to the one whose behavior He finds commendable. Even if he trips, he will not fall headlong, for the Lord holds his hand. I was once young, now I am old. I have never seen the godly abandoned or their children forced to search for food. All day long they show compassion and lend to others, and their children are blessed. Turn away from evil. Do what is right. Then you will enjoy lasting security. For the Lord promotes justice and never abandons his faithful followers. They are permanently secure, but the children of the wicked are wiped out. The godly will possess the land and will dwell in it permanently. The godly speak wise words and promote justice. The law of their God controls their thinking. Their feet do not slip. The wicked set an ambush for the godly and try to kill them. But the Lord does not surrender the godly or allow them to be condemned in a court of law. Rely on the Lord. Obey His commands. Then He will permit you to possess the land. You will see the demise of the wicked. I have seen ruthless, wicked people growing in influence like a green tree grows in its native soil. But then one passes by, and suddenly they have disappeared. I looked for them, but they could not be found. Take note of the one who has integrity. Observe the upright. For the one who promotes peace has a future. Sinful rebels are totally destroyed. The wicked have no future. But the Lord delivers the godly. He protects them in times of trouble. The Lord helps them and rescues them. He rescues them from the wicked and delivers them, for they seek His protection. Psalm 38, a psalm of David, written to get God's attention. O Lord, do not continue to rebuke me in your anger. Do 
not continue to punish me in your raging fury. For your arrows pierce me, and your hand presses me down. My whole body is sick because of your judgment. I am deprived of health because of my sin. For my sins overwhelm me, like a heavy load, they are too much for me to bear. My wounds are infected and starting to smell, because of my foolish sins. I am dazed and completely humiliated, all day long I walk around mourning. For I am overcome with shame, and my whole body is sick. I am numb with pain and severely battered. I groan loudly because of the anxiety I feel. O oh Lord, you understand my heart's desire. My groaning is not hidden from you. My heart beats quickly. My strength leaves me. I can hardly see. Because of my condition, even my friends and acquaintances keep their distance. My neighbors stand far away. Those who seek my life try to entrap me. Those who want to harm me speak destructive words. All day long they say deceitful things. But I am like a deaf man. I hear nothing. I am like a mute who cannot speak. I am like a man who cannot hear and is incapable of arguing his defense. Yet I wait for you. O oh Lord, you will respond, O oh Lord, my God. I have prayed for deliverance, because otherwise they will gloat over me. When my foot slips, they will arrogantly taunt me. For I am about to stumble, and I am in constant pain. Yes, I confess my wrongdoing, and I am concerned about my sins. But those who are my enemies for no reason are numerous. Those who hate me without cause outnumber me. They repay me evil for the good I have done. Though I have tried to do good to them, they hurl accusations at me. Do not abandon me, O Lord. My God, do not remain far away from me. Hurry and help me, O Lord, my Deliverer. Psalm 39. For the music director, Judothan, a psalm of David. I decided I will watch what I say and make sure I do not sin with my tongue. I will put a muzzle over my mouth while in the presence of an evil person. I was stone silent. I held back the urge to speak. My frustration grew. My anxiety intensified. As I thought about it, I became impatient. Finally, I spoke these words. O oh Lord, help me understand my mortality and the brevity of life. Let me realize how quickly my life will pass. Look, you make my days short-lived, and my lifespan is nothing from your perspective. Surely all people, even those who seem secure, are nothing but vapor. Surely people go through life as mere ghosts. Surely they accumulate worthless wealth without knowing who will eventually haul it away. But now, O oh Lord, upon what am I relying? You are my only hope. Deliver me from all my sins of rebellion. Do not make me the object of fools' insults. I am silent and cannot open my mouth because of what you have done. Please stop wounding me. You have almost beaten me to death. You severely discipline people for their sins. Like a moth, you slowly devour their strength. Surely all people are a mere vapor. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to my cry for help. Do not ignore my sobbing. For I am a resident foreigner with you, a temporary settler, just as all my ancestors were. Turn your angry gaze away from me, so I can be happy, before I pass away. Psalm 40 For the music director, a psalm of David 
I relied completely on the Lord, and He turned toward me and heard my cry for help. He lifted me out of the watery pit, out of the slimy mud. He placed my feet on a rock and gave me secure footing. He gave me reason to sing a new song, praising our God. May many see what God has done, so that they might swear allegiance to Him and trust in the Lord. How blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, and does not seek help from the proud or from liars. O Lord, my God, You have accomplished many things. You have done amazing things and carried out your purposes for us. No one can thwart you. I want to declare your deeds and talk about them, but they are too numerous to recount. Receiving sacrifices and offerings are not your primary concern. You make that quite clear to me. You do not ask for burnt sacrifices and sin offerings. Then I say, Look, I come. What is written in the scroll pertains to me. I want to do what pleases you, my God. Your law dominates my thoughts. I have told the great assembly about your justice. Look, I spare no words. O oh Lord, you know this is true. I have not failed to tell about your justice. I spoke about your reliability and deliverance. I have not neglected to tell the great assembly about your loyal love and faithfulness. O oh Lord, you do not withhold your compassion from me. May your loyal love and faithfulness continually protect me. For innumerable dangers surround me. My sins overtake me, so I am unable to see. They outnumber the hairs of my head, so my strength fails me. Please be willing, O Lord, to rescue me. O Lord, hurry and help me. May those who are trying to snatch away my life be totally embarrassed and ashamed. May those who want to harm me be turned back and ashamed. May those who say to me, Aha! Aha! Be humiliated and disgraced. May all those who seek you be happy and rejoice in you. May those who love to experience your deliverance say continually, May the Lord be praised. I am oppressed and needy. May the Lord pay attention to me. You are my helper and my deliverer. Oh my God, do not delay. The music director, a psalm of David. How blessed is the one who treats the poor properly. When trouble comes, may the Lord deliver him. May the Lord protect him and save his life. May he be blessed in the land. Do not turn him over to his enemies. The Lord supports him on his sickbed. You have healed him from his illness. As for me, I said, O oh Lord, have mercy on me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies ask this cruel question about me. When will he finally die and be forgotten? When someone comes to visit, he pretends to be friendly. He thinks of ways to defame me, and when he leaves, he slanders me. All who hate me whisper insults about me to one another. They plan ways to harm me. They say, an awful disease overwhelms him, and now that he is bedridden, he will never recover. Even my close friend whom I trusted, he who shared meals with me, has turned against me. As for you, O Lord, have mercy on me and raise me up, so I can pay them back. By this I know that you are pleased with me, for my enemy does not triumph over me. 
As for me, you uphold me because of my integrity. You allow me permanent access to your presence. The Lord God of Israel deserves praise in the future and forevermore. We agree. We agree. Psalm 42 For the music director, a well-written song by the Korahites. As a deer longs for streams of water, so I long for you, O God. I thirst for God, for the living God. I say, when will I be able to go and appear in God's presence? I cannot eat, I weep day and night. All day long they say to me, where is your God? I will remember and weep. For I was once walking along with the great throng to the temple of God, shouting and giving thanks along with the crowd as we celebrated the holy festival. Why are you depressed, O oh my soul? Why are you upset? Wait for God. For I will again give thanks to my God for his saving intervention. I am depressed, so I will pray to you while in the region of the upper Jordan, from Hermon, from Mount Mizar. One deep stream calls out to another at the sound of your waterfalls. All your billows and waves overwhelm me. By day the Lord decrees his loyal love, and by night he gives me a song, a prayer to the God of my life. I will pray to God, my high rich, why do you ignore me? Why must I walk around mourning? Because my enemies oppress me. My enemies' taunts cut me to the bone, as they say to me all day long, where is your God? Why are you depressed, O oh my soul? Why are you upset? Wait for God. For I will again give thanks to my God for his saving intervention. Psalm 43 Vindicate me, O oh God. Fight for me against an ungodly nation. Deliver me from deceitful and evil men. For you are the God who shelters me. Why do you reject me? Why must I walk around mourning? Because my enemies oppress me? Reveal your light and your faithfulness. They will lead me. They will escort me back to your holy hill and to the place where you live. Then I will go to the altar of God, to the God who gives me ecstatic joy, so that I may express my thanks to you, O God, my God, with a harp. Why are you depressed, O my soul? Why are you upset? Wait for God. For I will again give thanks to my God for his saving intervention. Psalm 44 For the music director by the Korahites, a well-written song. O God, we have clearly heard. Our ancestors have told us what you did in their days, in ancient times. You, by your power, defeated nations and settled our fathers on their land. You crushed the people living there and enabled our ancestors to occupy it. For they did not conquer the land by their swords, and they did not prevail by their strength, but rather by your power, strength, and good favor, for you were partial to them. You are my king, O God. Decree Jacob's deliverance. By your power we will drive back our enemies. By your strength we will trample down our foes. For I do not trust in my bow, and I do not prevail by my sword. For you deliver us from our enemies. You humiliate those who hate us. In God we boast all day long, and we will continually give thanks to your name. But you rejected and embarrassed us. You did not go into battle with our armies. You made us retreat from the enemy. Those who hate us take whatever they want from us. You handed us over like sheep to be eaten. You scattered us among the nations. 
You sold your people for a pittance. You did not ask a high price for them. You made us an object of disdain to our neighbors. Those who live on our borders taunt and insult us. You made us an object of ridicule among the nations. Foreigners treat us with contempt. All day long I feel humiliated and am overwhelmed with shame before the vindictive enemy who ridicules and insults me. All this has happened to us even though we have not rejected you or violated your covenant with us. We have not been unfaithful, nor have we disobeyed your commands. Yet you have battered us, leaving us a heap of ruins overrun by wild dogs. You have covered us with darkness. If we had rejected our God and spread out our hands in prayer to another God, would not God discover it? For he knows a person's secret thoughts. Yet because of you we are killed all day long. We are treated like sheep at the slaughtering block. Rouse yourself. Why do you sleep, O Lord? Wake up. Do not reject us forever. Why do you look the other way and ignore the way we are oppressed and mistreated? For we lie in the dirt with our bellies pressed to the ground. Rise up and help us. Rescue us because of your loyal love. Psalm 45 For the music director, according to the tune of Lilies by the Korahites, a well-written poem, a love song. My heart is stirred by a beautiful song. I say, I have composed this special song for the king. My tongue is as skilled as the stylus of an experienced scribe. You are the most handsome of all men. You speak in an impressive and fitting manner. For this reason, God grants you continual blessings. Strap your sword to your thigh, O warrior. Appear in your majestic splendor. Appear in your majesty and be victorious. Ride forth for the sake of what is right, on behalf of justice. Then your right hand will accomplish mighty acts. Your arrows are sharp and penetrate the hearts of the king's enemies. Nations fall at your feet. Your throne, O God, is permanent. The scepter of your kingdom is a scepter of justice. You love justice and hate evil. For this reason God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of joy, elevating you above your companions. All your garments are perfumed with myrrh, aloes, and cassia. From the luxurious palaces comes the music of stringed instruments that makes you happy. Princesses are among your honored women. Your bride stands at your right hand, wearing jewelry made with gold from Ophir. Listen, O oh princess. Observe and pay attention. Forget your homeland and your family. Then the king will be attracted by your beauty. After all, he is your master. Submit to him. Rich people from Tyre will seek your favor by bringing a gift. The princess looks absolutely magnificent, decked out in pearls and clothed in a brocade trimmed with gold. In embroidered robes, she is escorted to the king. Her attendants, the maidens of honor who follow her, are led before you. They are bubbling with joy as they walk in procession and enter the royal palace. Your sons will carry on the dynasty of your ancestors. You will make them princes throughout the land. I will proclaim your greatness through the coming years. Then the nations will praise you forever. Psalm 46 For the music director by the Korahites, according to the Alamoth style, a song. God is our strong refuge. He is truly our helper in times of trouble. 
For this reason we do not fear when the earth shakes, and the mountains tumble into the depths of the sea, when its waves crash and foam, and the mountains shake before the surging sea. The river's channels bring joy to the city of God, the special, holy dwelling place of the Most High. God lives within it. It cannot be moved. God rescues it at the break of dawn. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms are overthrown. God gives a shout. The earth dissolves. The Lord of heaven's armies is on our side. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come, witness the exploits of the Lord, who brings devastation to the earth. He brings an end to wars throughout the earth. He shatters the bow and breaks the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says, Stop your striving and recognize that I am God. I will be exalted over the nations. I will be exalted over the earth. The Lord of heaven's armies is on our side. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Psalm 47 For the music director by the Korahites, a psalm. All you nations, clap your hands. Shout out to God in celebration. For the Lord Most High is awe-inspiring. He is the great King who rules the whole earth. He subdued nations beneath us and countries under our feet. He picked out for us a special land to be a source of pride for Jacob, whom he loves. God has ascended his throne amid loud shouts. The Lord has ascended amid the blaring of ram's horns. Sing to God. Sing. Sing to our King. Sing. For God is King of the whole earth. Sing a well-written song. God reigns over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. The nobles of the nations assemble, along with the people of the God of Abraham, for God has authority over the rulers of the earth. He is highly exalted. Psalm 48, a song, a song by the Korahites. The Lord is great and certainly worthy of praise. In the city of our God, his holy hill, it is lofty and pleasing to look at, a source of joy to the whole earth. Mount Zion resembles the peaks of Saphon. It is the city of the great king. God is in its fortresses. He reveals himself as its defender. For look, the kings assemble. They advance together. As soon as they see, they are shocked. They are terrified, they quickly retreat. Look at them shake uncontrollably, like a woman writhing in childbirth. With an east wind, you shatter the large ships. We heard about God's mighty deeds, now we have seen them, in the city of the Lord of Heaven's armies, in the city of our God. God makes it permanently secure, within your temple. We reflect on your loyal love, O oh God. The praise you receive as far away as the ends of the earth is worthy of your reputation, O oh God. You execute justice. Mount Zion rejoices. The towns of Judah are happy because of your acts of judgment. Walk around Zion. Encircle it. Count its towers. Consider its defenses. Walk through its fortresses, so you can tell the next generation about it. For God, our God, is our defender forever. He guides us. Psalm 49, for the music director, a song by the Korahites. Listen to this, all you nations. Pay attention, all you inhabitants of the world. Pay attention, all you people, both rich and poor. I will declare a wise saying. I will share my profound thoughts. 
I will learn a song that imparts wisdom. I will then sing my insightful song to the accompaniment of a harp. Why should I be afraid in times of trouble, when the sinful deeds of deceptive men threaten to overwhelm me? They trust in their wealth and boast in their great riches. Certainly a man cannot rescue his brother. He cannot pay God an adequate ransom price. The ransom price for a human life is too high, and people go to their final destiny, so that he might continue to live forever, and not experience death. Surely one sees that even wise people die. Fools and spiritually insensitive people all pass away, and leave their wealth to others. Their grave becomes their permanent residence, their eternal dwelling place. They name their lands after themselves, but, despite their wealth, people do not last. They are like animals that perish. This is the destiny of fools, and of those who approve of their philosophy. They will travel to Sheol like sheep, with death as their shepherd. The godly will rule over them when the day of vindication dawns. Sheol will consume their bodies, and they will no longer live in impressive houses. But God will rescue my life from the power of Sheol. Certainly he will pull me to safety. Do not be afraid when a man becomes rich, and his wealth multiplies. For he will take nothing with him when he dies. His wealth will not follow him down into the grave. He pronounces this blessing on himself while he is alive. May men praise you, for you have done well. But he will join his ancestors. They will never again see the light of day. Wealthy people do not understand. They are like animals that perish. Psalm 50 A Song by Azath El, God, the Lord has spoken and summoned the earth to come from the east and west. From Zion, the most beautiful of all places, God has come in splendor. May our God come, and not be silent. Consuming fire goes ahead of him, and all around him a storm rages. He summons the heavens above, as well as the earth, so that he might judge his people. He says, Assemble my covenant people before me, those who ratify a covenant with me by sacrifice. The heavens declare his fairness, for God is judge. He says, Listen, my people. I am speaking. Listen, Israel. I am accusing you. I am God, your God. I am not condemning you because of your sacrifices or because of your burnt sacrifices that you continually offer me. I do not need to take a bull from your household or goats from your sheepfolds. For every wild animal in the forest belongs to me as well as the cattle that graze on a thousand hills. I keep track of every bird in the hills and the insects of the field are mine. Even if I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world and all it contains belong to me. Do I eat the flesh of bulls? Do I drink the blood of goats? Present to God a thank offering. Repay your vows to the Most High. Pray to me when you are in trouble. I will deliver you and you will honor me. God says this to the evildoer, how can you declare my commands and talk about my covenant? For you hate instruction and reject my words. When you see a thief, you join him. You associate with men who are unfaithful to their wives. You do damage with words and use your tongue to deceive. You plot against your brother. You slander your own brother. When you did these things, I was silent, so you thought I was exactly like you. But now I will condemn you, 
and state my case against you. Carefully consider this, you who reject God. Otherwise I will rip you to shreds, and no one will be able to rescue you. Whoever presents a thank offering honors me. To whoever obeys my commands, I will reveal my power to deliver.